Welcome to Geomatics, I'm Brent yeah. Thorne, and today we're going to be going over creating a polyline in a leaflet map in R. Okay, so if you need to get caught up to this point in the tutorial series, please check the link in the top right hand corner, and there will be a little icon for you to click to get to the intro video to the playlist. Alright, so, I've had some people... Um, ask me how they can um, add a line on top uh, using just some points that they have uh, on top of their leaflet map. Um, maybe that's to show directions going somewhere like somewhere specific or maybe um, to show multiple things like maybe a bunch of different bus routes or things like that. Uh, so I'm going to show a very basic example of how to apply um, the add polylines function. Okay, so the first thing that we'll need to do is uh, bring in the leaflet package as usual. So again, control enter will run that line, that individual line. And now I'm going to bring in my data. So I just have um, a set of data um, that I kind of created. And I'm going to use the read CSV function. And I'm going to bring in a folder or a file, sorry, called my underscore data. It's a .csv file. So if I run that, I've got data in now. Um, if you guys want to see what it looks like, um, just for reference, um, there we go. So you can see, very basic. I have four points, um, and each one of those points um, has a, a longitude and latitude, and um, a couple other variables in there as well. All right, so back to the code. Um, let's create a, a leaflet map first off, okay? So we've done this before, uh, use the leaflet function, and then um, I'll use control shift M to uh, have that kind of pipe um, uh, symbol in there. I'm going to do the add tiles function. I'm just going to use the base one for this. And I'm just going to um, run that for right now um, and run the map. So this is all stuff we've covered in previous videos. If you want to catch up, again, check that link in the top right hand corner. OK, so now um, we've already gone over how to add uh, points and markers to your map. And this is a very similar procedure. Um, so I'm going to do Control Shift M. And I'm going to use the Add Polylines. Make sure it's polylines and polygons. I struggled with this a bit. Um, sometimes when you're uh, typing out your code, sometimes it's a little fast, and you you miss things like polylines versus polygons, and you can't figure out why the heck your code isn't working. It should be working totally fine. All right, so now I just have to uh, change a few things in here. I'm going to go into the leaflet function and just specify that the data we want to use is the my uh, my df uh, variable that we created. Okay, and then uh, I can go into the add polylines function, and I just have to specify um, things like the latitude, and I named. It, the column name in my data table is lat, so I'll use that. And then I need to give it a value for the longitude, and I named my column long. And finally, I'll give a color, oops, a color to specify, and I'll have it equal red just for now. Okay, so I'll run that again and print the map. And here you can see I have a line. Uh, which is great. Um, and to prove to you guys that um, this is uh, matching the four points, um, I'll add some pop-ups here. So I can add pop-ups and I'll do the same similar thing. So latitude equals uh, 
flat lng equals long and pop up equals and I think it was uh, point is what it was called. Let me check this again. Um, no, I'm going to call it, uh, oh yeah, point. So, all right, so if I run this again, there you go, A, B, C, and D. So that's great, but um, maybe you want to add multiple lines um, using the same uh, data table or maybe you um, just need to add another line. So let's see how we're going to do this here. I'm going to create a variable called L1, and that's going to uh, equal my DF, and I'm going to now subset it. So people who are not familiar with how to subset data inside of R, I recommend checking out some tutorials online. It's a pretty um, standard practice when using um, the R language. So I'm going to subset the data to say I want L1 to equal my data where my data group equals L1. And I'll run that and I will do the same thing. I'll actually cheat here and um, just copy and paste that line because I just need to change the ones to twos and I'll run that. Okay, um, now that I have that data, I can actually go in here and say, um, uh, let's do it this way, data equals L1. Okay, so this will override this. And I'm not 100% sure if it will uh, continue to override it for the next uh, line, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to add another line that I'll just copy and paste into there. Again, feel free to type all this out if you want. I'm just going to change L1 to L2, and I'll change this to blue. Okay. Um, now... Actually, just for safety, I'll do data equals my df that long, and I'll get rid of this bit of code there. All right, so now we should should see two lines um, come up, and there you go. So you have a to b with one line, and c to d with another line. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Um, if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, um, you know what to do. Um, and if you uh, like all these videos, or if you want to keep getting updates on uh, new videos that are coming out, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.